Oh my gosh, there's people camping again. What the? Hello, hello. Who do we have first? I see boy underscore pie as first. One of the new speediest boys and grills on my Discord. Uh, Lax Life. Both well. McMax, McMick. Uh, Smoff, thank you so much for the. Uh, Seven months in a row. I think that's the first seven months I've seen. Thank you so much, Small. Really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. Five minutes until my second favorite Korean starts streaming. Who's your first favorite? Uh, Lube Helios, hello. Nazi, hello. Chatty Rick, hello. ASDF, ASDZ, hello. Tommy Crayons, ooh, we have Kuroi, the ice is nice, 33, hello. Hello, hello. Today, we just have a, uh, a chill stream. No build, just some, just unboxing a ton of stuff. We got a lot of stuff to unbox today. Got a lot. Is the music okay? Voice is okay too. Loco is your favorite Korean? Loco as in the Korean rapper? Does he stream though? Am I your favorite Korean streamer? It's okay if you like other Koreans. I get that, but... What about Korean streamers specifically? Bringing in your Helios right now, nice. Kimiza. <laughs> I'm probably gonna fall asleep during the stream. 5 a.m. Smoff, why are you awake? Why have you not slept until 5 a.m.? Why do you still have your friends build? It's a Ponzi scheme. I didn't fundraise for my friend, I fundraised for myself. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm waiting on the keycaps for it. <laughs> waiting on the keycaps for it. That's why I still have it. Oh, we have Beast, Mr. Beast Troll MC in chat. Did you stop streaming? I know you were streaming all day. Uh, oh, you, yeah, you're not streaming anymore. Open coffee next to keyboard. Should I just pour some coffee? I'm just kidding. Uh, Megaforce, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. You're on a 7 month streak. Dang, is it time for 7 months already? Roses are red, violets are blue. Uh, <laughs> freaking Megaforce. I'd eat your butt and suck your toes too. <laughs> I, I need to come up with uh, sub badges. I'm overdue on that. Has Nathan started unboxing? No, I I, uh, I just started streaming. I'll let people roll in until like 8.30 and then, and then I'll start the unboxings. I love Chica. What is Chica? Difference between thin and thick lube? Um, pretty much that. <laughs> uh, Rayol, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Appreciate it. Um, a thin lube is just thinner. Uh, it masks, it masks less of the imperfections on a switch. But, um, you feel less of the lube. So if you if you're going for that natural switch feeling. You want to go thinner. Thicker lubes will mask a lot more of the imperfections, but you can start to feel that lube substance. Um, yeah, at least on a high level view. Um, you should go check out Top Clack's article on lube theory. Oh, what? Kuroi on another 
gift bomb. It's been a while since Groy gifted. <laughs> Wait, Groy, Groy gifted a sub to the bot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see. Uh, we do amen. Oh, the the bot has a subscriber badge now. The bot has two badges now. O P O P. Um, Bruick, Tea Tea Chopper, W K Chris, Asthma, Effortless, three three two three three one two. Please uh, thank Kuroi for gifting you a sub and uh, enjoy the. The measly two emotes I can provide as an affiliate. Orion Stein, where are the Daffies? H, don't no leaks, Orion Stein. Shiny Gliscorch, no leaks, no leaks. Do in Sovereign's build tomorrow, Remski. I did not receive it today. Was it? Is it arriving tomorrow, or was it? Did it arrive today? You didn't give me tracking. Uh, Nazi, thank you so much for the two months in a row as well. Appreciate it. Kim 사장님 너무 멋있어요. Thank you. Not essential. Thank you so much for the follow. It's Kuroi gifted a sub to. Bistro MC2. Oof. Bistro MC is now a sub of Tia Types. <laughs> Already leaked stream over. Hey, Neo Jonathan. Dang, did like all the artisan people know I was gonna unbox artisans today? I, I am unboxing. I have three artisans to unbox. Tomorrow? Oh, if it's coming tomorrow, I can't build it this weekend because uh, my work is closed tomorrow, so it will be re-delivered on Monday. I, c I can unbox his board though. Should I unbox a board today? I wasn't planning on unboxing any boards, but we can. I have tons of stuff to unbox. I, I, I collect a lot of stuff to unbox this week. Teal Tracks, hello. Damn Twitch staff partner NK already. Feels bad, man. I'm never gonna get partner. Uh, Megaforce, thank you for the 20 bits, by the way. I missed that. Where's my zero effort free sub? <laughs> uh, Rayo, thank you so much for the 21 sub, 21 bits as well. It's Kuroi also gifted a sub to boy underscore pie. Oh my gosh, thank you. It's Kuroi. Oh, we have In Sovereign too, Wilba. Megaforce, burn the resin. In Sovereign, I am here. In Sovereign, should I? Should I unbox your board today or not? Should I save it for the build stream? What do you collect besides keyboards? I collect keyboards, artisans, and decks of playing cards. Those are the... Oh, I'm also not wearing my rings today. Whoops, no one noticed. Unboxed is DN. Ah, I, I got... I got trolled by Nick Keller, GG. <laughs> Dang, is it like time for everyone to refresh their subs this today? Uh, the ice is nice, thank you so much for the four months. Dr. Kim, you are a good egg, better egg than Kelly. Uh, Joe Cool Bob, thank you so much for the six months. Love you guys. Atizan Kebongak. Dude, Neil Jonathan, that's beyond my uh, vocab skill. What's kebongak? Show him the plushie. Oh, you mail him. <laughs> Show us an example of the cards. I don't have any cards with me, so I collect my cards, but I have I keep my like collection at my parents' home. So every time I go home, I take all the decks I've collected and I put it in my collection. Uh, there are previous streams where I have unboxed playing cards. Hodgeman6. Man, we have a lot of artisan people. Uh, whoa, Geo gifted a sub to Teal Tracks. Thank you so much, Geo. 
Are you uh, are you trying to claim your title as most gifter on my channel now that you've lost your uh, position on Top Clack? I uh, I heard Talisman Solutions dropped like 20 gifts or something yesterday. That's insane. Thoughts on E6.5? Uh, it's okay. I'm I'm not really into smaller keyboards. I prefer at least a 75% if possible. Um, uh, it's also exclusive, right? It's, it's exclusive. You can pretty much, you pretty much know what to expect with exclusives boards. I feel like they all been pretty consistent. So yeah. What's your favorite deck? My favorite deck is probably. I do like the tally hose. I like tally hose. Um, fontaines are pretty nice. Yeah, I like I like all of them. Dang, Bistro MC knows about artisans. <laughs> okay, it is eight eleven. Eight eleven. So it's time to start the unboxings. Um, but. Before we get into the unboxings, no one has also noticed, but um, I have another sponsor. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the sponsor right there, sponsor badge. KBD Fans is now a sponsor of Tiat Types. Um, I've been I've been talking with Two Way quite a bit. Um, I know a lot of newcomers have been coming into the hobby through my channel and streams. Um, so I hit up Way. You know, I've been telling him I've been driving a lot of customers your way, your way. Um, and for those of you guys who know, don't know, the the guy who runs KBD Fans, his name is Way. So sometimes I'll refer to him as Way or KBD Fans. But uh, yeah. Uh, KBD Fans is now a sponsor, um, so I'm looking forward to receiving products from them as well. I know a lot of you guys are interested in more budget options instead of just the high tier stuff that I do normally do. I'm so excited to do that. Um, any discount? I know you guys all want discounts. Uh, I will try to work with him to see if a discount is possible, but I mean, KBD Fans already sells at a pretty budget budget friendly relative to the hobby so I don't, I don't know if Wei would agree to that but uh, I, I am definitely pushing for some kind of discount for you guys um, but yeah I thought you guys should know KBD fans is now a sponsor as well um, so yeah as, as much as I want to be I, I will still be high-end luxury focused on keyboards but um, I think I think it's good to broaden my uh, my knowledge of keyboards. I can't really I can't really recommend people budget options unless I try them myself. So I, th I think it'll be good. I know. Hopefully that I hope that doesn't mean you guys won't watch my streams where I'm building a budget board. But you know, just because it's budget doesn't mean it's bad. KBD fans products are not bad. They're not the best, but they're not bad. So yeah, that is one update. Um, I, I have been linking KBD fans in all my videos, my future uploads as well. So yeah, expect to see KBD fans show up as a sponsor too. Um, we are not soldering today, so I should go through all of the all of the uh, the sponsors that we have today. So starting up, we should let's go let's go to their websites today. DixieMech.com. Uh, and my browser is not sharing. Uh, what? Where did my oh? Oof! So if you guys have never been to Dixie Max website, this is what Dixie Max website looks like. So GMK Minimal is live. Um, you guys can go ahead and join Minimal if you want. It is a clean, nice, neutral. Uh, Kinda whitish, kinda off whitish set. Um, can read about it there. There are Rama keycaps available, as is kind of the norm now with a lot of GMP sets running. So yeah, if you guys don't know, use my affiliate link. It will get you five percent off on your order. Uh, Mech Madness has also started. 
you unfortunately can't join in anymore if you haven't but yeah check out dixie mech he has a lot of cool products a lot of which are sold out <laughs> but there are still some you can buy and more to come in the future next up we have kvd fans our newest sponsor uh do they have any group buys going well if you guys don't you can always head over to the group buy section to see what the latest products are on kbd fans look right there there is a discount code two dollar discount code i love kbd fans use it if possible um and honestly any product from kbd fans i would recommend for anyone starting off that are on a budget or not ready to fully dip their feet into the hobby yet um, like i've said before i don't really just take anyone as a sponsor um, i really pick and choose the vendors that i um, whose products i use and like so yeah kbd fans check them out Let go. Next up, we have Kono.store. Uh, the Kiras are shipping. I guess you can buy them. Oh, you can they have them in stock too. So you can buy Kiras if you want. Um, actually, a pretty good board for the price for a pre built. Um, I, I have been following the Kira since it was in its prototype days. Um, Gemini Dusk is still available for pre order as well as the uh. SA Granite, which I heard is going to run pretty soon. Same with SA Calm Depths. Uh, oof, I'm not on here yet. <laughs> but uh, that's on me. I, I told them to hold off on putting me here because I don't have my new logo yet. I am working on a new logo. Um, but yeah, Kono.store, check them out. Um, lots of budget friendly as well as enthusiast level products on kono.store next up we have novel keys uh gmk chocolatier i will actually be unboxing one later on stream but if you like the willy wonka chocolate theme you can pick up extras of gmk chocolatier right now um, sa chocolatier was a pretty popular set gmk chocolatier will it go up in price like sa chocolatier did we will see. But yeah, Novel Keys is the place to go right now for desk mats. They have tons of desk mats uh, and switches as well. Novel Keys cream switches I have been liking. They are a pretty good linear that I would recommend to anyone. Um, also, Mike dropped this on us today. Kale China style box switches. Hopefully I can receive some um, and see what they are all about. I do have a promo code. If you use the promo code NK space X space NK, all lower caps, we'll get you 5% off any purchase. And finally, we have zeopc.net, who I have an affiliate link for. Um, custom keyboards, unfortunately, you can't buy the Xeno anymore. It has ended, but Zeal is the place to go if you want some nice switches the tiffany blue telios extremely smooth linears that i would also recommend uh, zelios if you're looking for a tactile switch zelios v2 is the way to go right now same with xylence um, if you want some nice aesthetically pleasing stabilizers zeal stabs oof this gold and clear zeal stabs zeopc.net slash types is where you go to purchase those items Okay, I haven't been watching chat. Sorry if I... What did I miss? Now that we have sponsors out of the way, we can get to the fun stuff. Uh, and once again, I do have all my sponsors linked in my panel down below. Uh, Burn in the Ham, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Kanui, Sultan, Fahed, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, that's it. That's it. Not too bad. Ham Kenobi, hello. Beast troll, I'm lurking. <laughs> okay, what to... Uh, Let's start with artisan first. Artisans. So, like some people in chat mentioned already, um, I do have some daffies to unbox today. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the artisan maker. Bad. 
Also goes by Bad and Bouge. Also goes by Bad Chad. Also goes by Chatty Rick. They're all the same people. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first time I have res I'm actually seeing their uh, Daffy artisan in person, so yeah. Chatty Rick, yeah, he is in here in chat if you guys have any questions for Chatty Rick. Um, I like this stamp, totally handmade. It's pretty clever. And my phone is loud. So yeah, let, let us see what this is about. Uh, is Chatty still in chat? Did he put me in the afterburner? You don't strike me as an artisan guy, Buick? Well, you are wrong. You are wrong, because I am indeed an artisan guy. And these Daffies will be going in there. And what do we have inside? Ooh. Yo. Yo, look at this ID card. Bad and bouge keys. Uh, it says February 22nd, 19. Is that the date it was made or... I don't know. Chatty Rick, is this the date it was made or the date it was shipped? Daffy V2 and the Taro Sculpt. Oof, I have number 8 of 20. Let's see. Um, if you guys are into Daffy the Duck, apparently you also get Daffy the Duck stickers. Pretty cool. I, I've been collecting stickers. I'm not much of a sticker guy, but I decided to start sticker bombing my Hydro Flask. Just cuz. So yeah, I'll be def I'll definitely be putting it on there. Oh, only one? Oh, two. We got two. Ooh! Is that an OG Mononoke? Yes, it is. But look at these guys. Oof, so this is obviously the Taro colorway. I only have one ID ID card. Oh, the back's pretty too. Okay, let's take a individual close look at each. Uh, Stoke Slovakian, thank you so much for the tier one sub, two months in a row. Uh, yeah, this one. This, so this is the V2, I guess, if it'll focus. Look at that. This is a pretty nice, pretty nice purple. I like the eyes. I like the eyes. Oof, a little bit of purple here. Ooh, okay. It's got a little swirl mark inside. Chatty Rick, is that like your maker's mark? That swirl, or is that just because of the Daffy Duck eyeballs that you have that swirl going on there? It's pretty neat. You can even see the hair there. Side view. Yeah, dude, look at this. I like this. I like the maker's mark too. I like the swirl. Let's look at this one. So is this a V1 or is this also a V2 Chatty Rick? Is Chatty Rick still here? Look at this. Chatty Rick told me the name colorway of this. I forgot, I'm sorry. But this is beautiful. I I like artisans with sparkles like this. Like that's that's why I'm into the Magic Agate set. But I think when it's done tastefully like this, it looks nice. Oof. I I like this more than the Taro one personally. Ooh. Yeah, so this one it's a cleaner here. Um, I mean, having sparkles here, I don't mind. I like this gradient, but there's no like purple leftover stuff here. So I like this. This one came out a lot nicer in my opinion. And I like this. I like this one. I like this one more than the Taro. I don't know if chat likes Taro more, but this is also a V2. This is the gold bag colorway, Mr. Chatty Rick says. Man, this gold bag is nice. I will probably be putting this on a black and yellow themed board if I ever do a black and themed board, black and yellow themed board. This will look good, yeah. 
Oof, not two Daffy Ducks here. Yeah, but this is nice. I like this. The, the lips. I think Chatty Rick got the lips perfectly. Or the mouth, I guess. The entire mouth. I think Mr. Chatty Rick did a really good job of uh, recreating it from the 2D Daffy Duck that we all know and love. You get some, you get some Daffy action. Mmm. 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 Yeah. I I do. It's it's a lot nicer in person. Like some artisans. It looks better in pictures. Some artisans, it looks better in pictures. I think this is one of those that look better in, in person. Or maybe maybe Chatty Rick isn't a great photographer, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think these look better in person for sure. OCD RS, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Mocha TS. Yeah. Man, this is this is nice though. I I am pleasantly surprised at the quality of these. <laughs> you know, and, and and I also like the fact that you know new artists and makers are entering the scene. If I am correct, uh, Bad and Boo started selling, started making and selling artisans last year. So, I'm not sure if this is his first sculpt, but. Not that I'm also qualified as like an artisan expert, but this is nice. This is very nice. Any any Daffy Duck fans in chat? This will be living in my artisan container. Yeah, once again, thank you, Mr. Uh, Chatty Rick, for these artisans. Oof, we got two Daffy Ducks. I also like this. I like this packaging. Imagine being an artisan expert. Just put the gold one on the salamander. Ooh, but see the. Oh, I think if I can take this out. So this is called the gold bag V2. If there was like a silver bag, I think that would be that would look pretty good on the salamander. I think the gold flakes of this would go pretty well with the gold streaks on my salamander. Um, but the duck itself is black. I need I need like a white or gray daffy duck to put it on my salamander. Please link me where I can buy. They are amazing. Uh, OCD underscore R says uh, PM. Mr. Chatty Rick, he is in chat. He is the maker of this artisan. If you like Daffy Duck or whatever, oh, let me, Mr. Chatty, Chatty Rick, he is the person to message PM if you are in the market for uh, for some Daffy, Daffy Duck artisans. He also has more sculpts, I believe, but I don't know if they're in the works or public yet. I know he's released pictures. I, I did see the terminal blank. The terminal blank looked nice. Mo, yeah, I do agree that the terminal blank looked pretty cool. I saw it on Instagram today. Terminal is also a keycap set that I like. So I would like a terminal blank as well. Damn, I wish I could afford just one bad chat cap. Shiny Gliss Corp. Hey, Chatty Rick in chat right now. PM him, message him, say you saw my stream and that you really want a bad Chad artisan. Maybe he can hook you up. I don't know. I can't vouch for that, but. PP Munch, what keycaps did Beast Trolls build have again? It had the Max Keys F22 keycap set. So that was. Where does Chatty Rick sell his artisans? Uh, he makes posts on Mech Market as well as. If you're in the MetKeys Discord, he pings salt mines as far as I know. So that is artisan number one. O 
Nope, wrong, wrong bag. Artisan number two. Who knows Tiny makes things? Yeah, who can guess what artisan I have in here? This is like actually legit unopened. Whoa, look at this. Look at her identification card. This, this isn't, I, this isn't an, oh my gosh, is, is this a sticker? Yo, I like this sticker. Does that look like tiny? This is what she uses on her Twitch stream, I believe. Look at this. What is she even holding? What is that? Oh, it's a keyboard. Okay, it's a TKL keyboard that she's holding. <laughs> Pretty cool. I need to get my own stickers too. Once, once I get my new logo and everything, I am planning on... Oh gosh, getting stickers. So I could uh, ship it out with customer bills and whatnot. Mmm, okay. Her ID card. Where do people even get stuff like this made? What the heck? This is so legit. She even has it sleeved in the card sleeve. I mean, not that card sleeves are expensive, but... So this is the identification card. So if you guys are new to artisans, um, a lot of times the makers and designers, uh, because they are handmade, they tend to provide an, an identification card like this so that one, um, it's a form of legitimacy uh, and two, they do it in the hopes that if the artisan ever gets traded or resold to someone, uh, they can verify it with the card, proving that it is legitimate. There are fake artisans out there. Um, yeah, there are fake artisans and keyboards out there, so be careful what you purchase. But I have the Sugar Plum Bubblegum Yeti that I won. Oof, it's in a nice pink bed. Whoa. Yo, she, she sent me sweet tarts. That's legit. I wish I could have paid less for the artisans to not receive candy. I'm, tr I'm trying to watch my weight. But thank you for the sweet tarts, Tiny. Uh, if you guys don't know, Tiny, she is a streamer as well. Uh, she actually streamed herself making artisans. So I would highly consider uh, checking her out. We have rated her before as well. So. I, guess, I guess I have to eat one even though I'm drinking coffee right now. This is my dinner. Time to get fat. No. Yep. That is her uh, Twitch stream right there. It'll focus. Catch me on twitch.tv slash tiny T with three E's. Tiny T. Follow her. So let's get to the actual artisan. Can you not open this without cutting it? GG, I have to cut it. I guess I have to eat one of these too. <laughs> She's also a rapper, yeah, she raps. Ooh, this is a nice, it's too bright. This is a nice colorway, guys. You guys know I like pastels. I recently themed my Discord to have pastel-y colors. This is nice. I like this colorway. I like the gradient from the peach to, not peach, the pink to purple. Beastro, I thought the feet were nipples. Yikes. 
We all know what Beast Troll's mind is like. <laughs> no, they're not Yeti titties. These are those are the Yeti feet. <laughs> this is a little Yeti <laughs> that is sitting down with its feet. See? Fiddle foot. Now I can't unsee. Man, look at the like detail on like the fur. I guess it's called fur. Mm. Yeah, and Tiny, she's been making these for a while now. I, so she should be experienced. Whoa, okay. I've never fully inspected the bottom of a Yeti before. I don't know what this is. I don't think that's her logo. That's definitely not her logo, but I guess that's how she marks. It's her artisan. It's pretty neat. Come on. Right. Uh, Sludge Kid, thank you so much for the follow. That's a synth mark. Oh, okay. I guess that is a synth mark. A synth is what is used to make artisans, I believe. Molding platform, yeah. Today I learned. See, I, I like I said, I'm not the most qualified person to speak of artisans. I'm pretty new to artisans as well. So yeah, it's, it's a learning experience. I like this though, I like this. Um, will this fit plum? I have GMK plum. That's the only purple set I have. What 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 key cap set would go well with this? It doesn't matter, I will still keep it. And I've run out of space. Done. We have one loose Yeti just sitting on a coconut. Yeah. That is my artisan collection that I have completed. I, I guess I need to uh, move some stuff. So that I can... Uh, I don't think I want to start another case. It's, it's a deep, dark rabbit hole. I will just limit myself to one and just up trade or something. If any uh, any artisan people watching out there, I'm willing to trade one, these three, four, five, six, seven, eight keycaps, nine, ten. Any artisan people interested in those, let me know. I gotta make space for my Yeti. New to artisans has four yards. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not I'm not entirely new. I was into artisans before. I took a break. Now I'm choosing to go back. I, I think as a keyboard keyboard person, keyboard informer reviewer, you can't just ignore the artisan community. Um, I, I think the same way with artists and people as well you can't just ignore the keyboard people i think to get a holistic picture of what keyboards are about you gotta you got you gotta talk about both artisans and keyboards so that is one of the main reasons why i decided to go back um yeah you can't really you can't talk ish unless you've tried it and i i have liked artisans it's just um, artisan pr money can add up <laughs> and for me at the time when I started off um, keyboards were just more of a priority for me than artisans so yeah now, now that I have somewhat of an establishment I can afford to uh, put some of that into artisans gotta get you a sludge kit in there oh is that I did not know that was the legit official sludge kit hello sludge kit yeah, I would love to uh, see your artisan person. Yeah, let's keep the artisans here. My newly obtained artisans will be. You want the white and black moon face? That's unfortunately reserved for someone right now.
what would you say the typical price of a base set GMK caps is? Andy Tewitz says, um, during group buy, a typical base set will, will run you anywhere from like 130 to 150 typically. If you join the group buy for an aftermarket, it's a whole new story. Tips for desoldering something that was soldered with lead free solder. Practice, that's about it. <laughs> Okay, that is it for the artisan corner. Uh, Smash can. Thank you so much for the follow. What next? Ooh. Okay. This is an interesting item. Who can guess what this is? This mysterious box. Who can guess? Oh, the white is being blown. What is your favorite Korean candy? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know, I'm not big on candies. A brick. It's not a desk mat. A really big shake weight. PP Munch, I found a keycap that I think BTMC would like. Do you mind if I link in chat real quick? Yeah, I, um, I I do have links enabled. I trust that you guys can be mature about it. Please don't post anything bad. If you post anything bad, I'll ban you. But yeah, links are enabled in my chat. A copper bar. A supreme crowbar, no. You guys ready to see the biggest, chattest thing you've ever seen in your life? What's bad? Um, bad as in like spam or lewd links, that kind of stuff. Just use your common sense, please. Ooh, does this look like something to you guys? doesn't stop it just keeps on going oh have you ever seen a cable like this have you ever seen a cable this thick uh. Uh. this cable is longer shoot than my forearm. Look at this cable. This, this is a USB mini cable. How can I compare this? Okay, my the typical thing I use for reference. Uh, Z Young one nine nine nine. Thank you so much for the follow. This is a Bird's Bees chapstick. That's how it looks for reference. That's how thick this is. I'm sure everyone knows what a uh, a normal uh, chapstick looks like. Look at this thickness difference. This is thick F. Why is it so huge? Um, I don't know, it's just big. <laughs> um, cables from keyboards back in the days tended to be this thick and long and coiled. Um, and someone wanted to uh, emulate that in a modern cable. So this is the result of it. But yeah, look at this cable. I will be, this is for a future client build. They wanted me to showcase it with this cable. Okay, this, this cable is longer than my keyboard. That's how long this is. <sighs> yep, 
Yes, this, this is Donut's OG coiled cable. prefer this shiny type of coil. Yeah, this is insane. It's nice though, like it's super nice. The, uh, this is rubber, like whatever is housing the cable is a nice rubbery feeling. So it feels very quality. Um, I would say it, fe it does feel like those olden cables that are just with insane coiling and that nice hefty rubber feeling it does feel like it this is nice i kind of wish like do i want one i don't know mucari thank you so much for the follow this is kind of this is too much <laughs> i think if the coiling was only like this long if if the coiling was half i would have bought it but this coiling is this is too much of a coiling i think this is too long Oh, lick it. This is not my cable, so I won't be licking it. Do you plan on getting a new monitor anytime soon? You know, I would like one. I would also. I need a monitor that's also more color accurate. But it's not a priority. I mean, I can live with the one I have. I mean, maybe, maybe later on this year we'll see. What is the length? I will measure it for you in bird speeds. I don't have a ruler on me. One bird speeds, two bird speeds, three bird speeds, four bird speeds, five bird speeds, six bird speeds. Just this coil alone is worth six and a half bird speeds. Uh, the Carl Q, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime though. Big thick cables make me sub. How many Hueys? Well, one Huey isn't accurate. Not everyone has the same reach as I do. Yeah, and then the straight part is just as long as the coiled part. And you have a little bit here. So this this cable, at a minimum, is at least 13 Burt's Bees. This thing stretches, so oh, look, at, look at this stretch. I have a 900 by 400 desk mat it uh it easily stretches to the other side my voice is my passport <laughs> mr petrov thank you so much for the 500 bit donation <laughs> so, yeah, interesting thing number one okay what else what else How many is your desk mat and bird's beast? I'm not gonna count my desk mat and bird's beast. My desk mat is 400 millimeters wide. Okay, uh... Jajan, we have another desk mat today. Oh. I don't know if you guys know this, but Dixie Mech sold a desk mat at one point. Uh, I don't know if this is still in stock, but oh, this is in the tight. We have a nice, oh, wrong. We have a nice Mecca off-white weeb desk man. Look at this. I need some coffee, that was way too sweet. I have not had candy in a while. 
Oh. Let me get this desk mat, guys. Um, it's cut off corner, but on this bottom corner it says, what? What does this mean? Makaki Bodo. Any, any Japanese people in chat? What does this mean? Yeah, this desk mat is from Dixie Mech. Makaki Bodo. Means Mecha Keyboard, okay. Mecha Keyboard. I don't know. Mecha Keyboard, my dude. Oh, we have Gainsborough. Hello, Gainsborough. It's been a while since I've seen you in chat. Uh, Rayo, thank you so much for the 78 bits. Now that I'm not number one, here are the rest of my Cheerios. Oh, shoot. Okay, the, the bits leaderboard refreshed. That is the Katana character. You know, whether it's katana or not, I cannot read it. I, I don't read Japanese, so. <laughs> yeah. Look at this desk, man. Um, you will definitely be seeing me using this on my YouTube videos. Um, I, I've been trying to switch out desk mats every week for the typing videos. This is this is a pretty loud desk mat. You, you place this on your desk mat for attention. Uh, Heine Bush, thank you so much for the six month streak. Kiss me so hard on the face and mouth, Desu Senpai. <laughs> Heine Bush. Yeah, like you put a keyboard on here, your keyboard is no longer the centerpiece of your desk. It is this desk mat right here. This desk mat, if you use it, this is the centerpiece of your uh, desk aesthetic. Uh, I'm debating over getting an Alp 64 or a Rama M60A. What would you get? Uh, what do you mean by an Alp 64? That is a PCB, I think. Are we doing a build today? Uh, no build today. I am doing a build stream tomorrow and Sunday, but today we're just unboxing stuff. Just chatting. Just a chill stream today. Wait, does it literally say katana characters? I, I don't know. I'm guessing this is katana characters. I think the chat said it was katana characters. Where can you get this map? What's he asks? Um, head over to dixiemech.com. Sorry, tehatypes.dixiemech.com. It is linked in my panel. This is the place to get this. Using my affiliate link will get you 5% off on your purchase. For your clients who are gamers, what is the most popular switch type? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I've never asked my clients what they're planning on using the board for or whether they're hardcore gamers or not. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I'd say I've done a pretty evenly split build for linears and tactiles. I haven't done a clicky build for anyone since I have started offering build services. Alp 64, I was getting parts for it and Alp 64 getting an M60A, sorry for confusion. Um, I would say M60A just for ease. Alps is nice, but it takes time. Uh, a little bit of luck, maybe some extra money, um, and it's hard, like finding Alps keycaps and switches that are nice, uh, it's hard. M60A, it's MX, you can just easily plop switches in. So I would say M60A probably for you, I think you are new to the hobby, right PP Munch? Yeah. But man, this, maybe I should use this on stream, like the white helps with focusing I think. Maybe it doesn't, I lied. Like it, it does make, it's no longer just a plain black. I feel like my desk mat on stream is a little boring. I don't know, what do you guys think? You guys like this? Oh yeah. Yeah, I will, this is definitely 
It's a nice desk mat. I, I like big desk mats. I'm getting into it. Trying to collect more and more desk mats. I think I'm up to like six desk mats now. Someone out there needs to make a desk mat organizer solution for a keyboard enthusiasts. Do you have one of those cherry core blueprint desk mats? I do. I do more. Meliu chess? I do. I use it in some of my videos if you haven't seen. Don't, didn't we agree on NK desk map reviews every week? I forgot I have map pull practice. Gotta go. We'll look for the rest of the stream. Good luck on your practice, Beast Troll MC. Do you think the desk mats work as good as desk mats like QCK for mouse tracking? Uh, Don Kui, Don Quill asks. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't game anymore. Um, I also use a trackball, <laughs> so <laughs> my mouse is stationary. I don't need to move my mouse. I just move my balls. I just fondle my balls, and the mouse moves. Uh, Konyo Cup and Toho Torni. No idea what that means, but. I hope you win that cup in Torny, Beast Troll. <laughs> what is your favorite keycap profile? Probably Cherry. Do you know any good wireless mechanical keyboard? Uh, if you want Bluetooth, HHKB Bluetooth is pretty good. Um, the Hex Gears X1, also a pretty good wireless mechanical keyboard. Yeah. Holy Panthers aren't great. Hello, what did I miss? Uh, nothing much. I unboxed some Arzen so far, a Donut Cat OG cable, and then this desk mat. So, this is item number one from Dixie Mech. We actually, Dixie sent a couple. Look at this packaging, boys and grills. DixieMech.com. Dixie Mech is one of the few vendors I feel like that sells merch. Um, so we'll see what this one looks like. I don't know. Are you guys interested in keyboard hobby merch? I don't. Like, if I made merch, would you guys buy it? Oh, I got sent two. Let us uh, congregate the trash. I got sent two things. Beast Troll would buy my merch? Dang! That's saying a lot. If Beast Troll would buy my merch? Maybe I should. But like, I wouldn't make, like, I would make nice quality merch, like... I may not be into streetwear anymore, but I used to be... I'm more into, like, nicer clothing, like... More, uh, adult... Quality pieces. But I, I know a thing or two about fabrics and uh, nice clothing. If I made merch, it wouldn't be cheap. Maybe maybe I'll consider cheap options, but yeah. Old? <laughs> like legit, I got these Ronin hoodies from the latest drop just for uh, my keyboard stuff. Like, I mean, the, the separate sleeve color has kind of become iconic with me. I don't normally wear this, like, outside of stream and YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't wear this to work. <laughs> Gotta... Yeah. <laughs> there is a section in my closet just for stream wear, YouTube wear. But yeah, I was sent a large. I told Dixie to send me a large because uh, I, I'm getting a little chubs. 
and I don't think medium fits on me well right now, so let's see. Ooh, it's got a thock, thock text with an HHKB keyboard around it and a Dixie Mech logo. When are you gonna develop your own switches? I don't know, that's that's a far ways out. <laughs> what do you wear to work? I just normally wear a flannel and a jacket over it. Can it be spelled Thok instead? Uh, that's something you're gonna have to bring up with Dixie Mech. Uh, I mean, I believe he has been selling this for a while now. And if you guys don't know what, what a Thok is, um, it's a term that keyboard people like to refer to for a nice, deep, and bassy thock when you press down on your keyboard. Uh, commonly used in conjunction with Topra a lot. Topra is known for their thocks. Thock. Yeah, but look at this. Maybe I'll wear this on stream tomorrow. I, uh, yeah. I, I hope merch becomes more of a thing. Not like, like trashy merch. Like this is, this is acceptable, I think. Like it's pretty nerdy. It's pretty keyboard. It's obviously keyboard related, but I wouldn't call this cringe. This, this is like acceptable to me, I think. So yeah, t-shirt number one. And as you can tell, this is just a black version of the Thok. But it has a white HHKB instead. Novel creams, novel keys, creams have a nice Thok. Yeah, especially when you lube it. A lot of lube switches tend to have a Thok that comes out. this. I think I like this better. I'm, I'm not, when it comes to clothing, I'm not big on white because I've got some curves and white clothing tends to show your curves more than they hide it. So maybe I'll wear this instead. You gotta hide them curves, you know. I don't, white, white's also kind of like too bright sometimes. So yeah, I, I do tend to like darker stuff. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Maybe I'll wear, wear this tomorrow and I'll wear this on Sunday. Let's see. You guys wanna see some You guys wanna know how to fold your clothes? Let me show you guys the OP way to fold your clothes. Who knows how to fold the clothes? Fold their clothes like the way I'm about to fold my clothes. This is what you do. You lay your shirt out flat. You grab here and you, you go along this line. Okay, so you see this line that I'm making? Grab here, grab here, grab here, you pull. Boom, clothing is folded with the design showing nice. Okay, it's a little tilted, but you get the idea. I'll do it once again for you guys in case your eyes are too slow. Lay your clothes out flat. Grab top corner, just go down the line. One, two, three, and you pull. Oof. You ever wondered how clothing stores folded their clothes? That's how you do it. Right there, perfect. Lines up. I'm a pro at this. It lines up on all the edges. Look at this. Boom, I should work at a clothing store. 
and you can fold it in half if you want. Look at this beauty. Uh, Black Ace HP, thank you so much for the follow. We're not done with the merch though. We got one more merch from Dixie Mac. I'm getting retail flashbacks. You'd work well in my company if you can fold that quickly. <laughs> I can fold pretty fast. I've been doing this for years. Um, wouldn't it be funny if NK became famous actually for folding YouTube videos? I mean, you can search it. It's not something I came up with. A lot of people do it. Which part they're in the back. <laughs> uh, I just noticed all three items I have unboxed from Dixie Mac, they all have different packaging. I think this is their latest packaging though. I think the, the, the shirts, they've been out for a while. This one might be new. Who can guess what this is? Have you never worked retail? It certainly looks like it. No, I've never worked retail. I, I've i worked at restaurants, like serving and as a cashier, but I've never worked uh, as a retail. Mecca hat. Oh, yo, this is a pink cap. I was not expecting a pink colored cap. And it has RMK engraved or embroidered on it. Look at this. Is this even going to fit on my head? I have a pretty big head. Let's see if I can uh, widen this. How to widen. Put it on? Yeah, I'll put this on. I don't look good with hats. Oh shoot. In my opinion, but how's this look? Can you see the arm K? You look like a grandpa. Well, this this is a dad hat. Should I wear it like the cool kids? Yo, yo. Or like this? Pokemon trainer NK? Looking like that kid from Up. Does it match Mr. Sleeves? Uh, no, this is a different. It's kind of close, but this is pretty faded. <coughs> nice cap though. Port and company made in China. Uh, I'm not too much of a hat expert. I don't wear, I don't like wearing stuff on my head in general. As you can tell, I don't look good with hats. But yeah, I will be wearing this. I will, I'll wear this on stream here and there. <laughs> it's bedtime, NK, have a good night, Mr. Petrov. I also made this a little too, too long. Could have been shorter. So yeah, if you guys are in the market for uh, keyboard merch, you guys should check out Dixie Mech because he has things like this and there will definitely be more to come. More to come. Uh, is the arm K? No, it's, it's honestly kind. I mean, like if from here, you can definitely see it. 
but like far from far away the white blends in like it's pretty the whole cap itself is pretty uh like pretty muted i'd say it blends pretty i mean i have a harsh light coming down here but yeah it's not too noticeable from afar at least the streamwear section of the closet it goes yeah this is definitely streamwear um I don't, I don't wear hats in general i only i've only ever purchased a couple in my life i always try to go back to it i'm like nope i can't pull this off but uh i know i know dixie wears hats dixie looks pretty good with a hat yeah see how i plug your proper link mr patrov i don't think that's the proper link my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my link is different. Oh, wait, we have Albert streaming right now. Oh. Yeah. Please lube that. <laughs> uh, which sponsor site we're talking to on? Chocolatier is on novel keys right now speaking of chocolatier boom oh is it the one in my description i thought i had something else i thought i had something else you could be right it's been a while since i've updated it oh it is i lied you are correct i'm sorry <laughs> You are correct. I lied. I thought I, I thought the link was different. I thought the link was different. <sighs> Slightly musical, yeah. Slight. I'm supposed to have a s quick feature on Slightly Musical. I don't know if he. I don't know for how long he's been streaming, but let me know if you guys are also watching Slightly Musical and he features me, or if he does anything keyboard related. Slightly musical X Teha Types collab coming soon, TM. Um, JNK Chocolatier, I received this today actually. Still has the other uh, wrapping unopened. Shall we take a look? Ooh. So let's take a look at the box first. GMK Chocolatier by Zombomon has the Zombomon logo. Nice logo. Oh, okay, this is new. Nice. Nice. I like this. I like this packaging. Um, I really like the novelties for GMK Chocolatier. The Willy Wonka themed novelties, I think, are amazing. I think if you buy Chocolatier, you need to get it with the Willy Wonka novelties. These are nice. Uh, Albert does use an HHKB. Quick question once before I go to sleep. I'd like to get into this keyboard Harvey, but don't know where to start. Any suggestions? Aida tips? Uh, Lei Hing asks. Check out all of my sponsors. Um, they all sell... All of my sponsors currently that I have are pretty budget friendly. And they have some of the best products on the market. I would say start off with KBD fans, Novel Keys, Dixie Mech, Kono Store, Kono.Store, ZOPC. Check out all of them. Um, gather parts you can look up more online about what parts you need and what to gather but yeah i would say start off from there look at this Th i think this is a must oh no what just happened hello Why did my camera just die? Am I out of battery? Oh, I ran out of battery. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> we are back. We are back, boys and girls. Um, okay. Look at this set, guys. Look at this. Oof. There aren't many brown sets in the hobby, so it is nice to see a black a brown set like this pop up. XT Tropo, always watch your videos, but this is my first stream. Hello, hello. Look at this. Our text on the chocolate tier novelties yellow golden ticket. They are, they are. Look, this yellow enter says golden ticket. If it'll focus, yeah. The escape is just escape, but this says golden ticket. And it has the Willy Wonka. Yeah, this is a nice set. I believe this is a space bars kit. So I will be using these in a future build. Starting from tomorrow, this will be an option for a key set you can put on a keyboard at the end of the build. This set not gonna lie, but I didn't join in since I don't like SA Chocolatier. Oh, you don't like SA Chocolatier? SA Chocolatier was one of the few SA sets I liked. Do you think Mr. Sleeves will look stupid with EPBT9009 given the font thickness difference? I can't find anyone willing to sell GMK90. That's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, not sure. <laughs> that is a good question. What color case do you think brown will look nice on? Maybe creams or off-white? Uh, creams, off-white. You could honestly put it on a black case too. I would say brown you could use on a lot of. I think white with brown looks pretty nice too. Yeah. Julie, I swear if you don't weigh every cap individually. <laughs> could you imagine an entry on your spreadsheet? Chocolatier escape key, <laughs> and you have a whole list of uh, keycaps. Why is this lifted like that? Okay. Oh, I forgot. There is also this kit. This is the space bar kit, I lied. Whoa, this is new. So we have space bars. And then we have one lone space bar. That's not... They couldn't fit it. This is new. I've never seen an unopened or unpackaged space bar like this. Unwrapped. Um... No Rama caps? No, I didn't get the Rama caps for this. I didn't think it looked as good. Like for GMK Olivia, I thought it looked good, but for this, I didn't think it looked as good. It not enough to compel me to purchase it. Uh, have to go to bed. Bye. Thank you, the Hixer Fixer 725. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, we're done with this. Moving on to more keys and keycaps. Who can guess what keycaps I have here? Did I get Hamon? I did not. I did not get Hamon. Uh, funds were a little tight this month. Palm, Jelly Palm. Hey, Dr. Kim, did you consider purchasing GMK Hamon? No, I had to skip out on Hamon, unfortunately. Am I safe to eat for the next two weeks, or do I need to pinch pennies in case Bauer drops? You need to pinch pennies, my friend. Um, but yes, I do have some uh, jelly palms, some OEM profile jelly palms from the Fang Group I. Look at this, boys and grills. If you guys know me, I like Alps. I also like palm keycaps. 
Um, palm isn't for everyone, I would say, but I think palm keycaps are really nice. I wish more of them existed. I would honestly use palm over GMK, personally, just for feel and sound. I like it. I like it. I do have a build plan for this, so be on the lookout for when I build something with these. Uh, pretty excited. I am I am always on the hunt for palm. More palm. Yeah. What are jelly palms? Uh, they're just keycaps made from palm. Palm is a type of plastic. Um, it has a nice smooth texture. Kind of slick. Like I wouldn't say it's greasy, but it's like a very smooth plastic. Yeah, like it is noticeably smoother than PBT or ABS in my opinion. And the, the plastic difference does affect sound, I think. Um, you put palm on nice on a nice keyboard, it sounds pretty nice. Why does no one bring back palm? They would make so much money if they someone ran a group by palm keycaps that actually had a compatibility. Are you actually a doctor? Perhaps. Perhaps. Picked up a Nova Touch for 100 bucks the other day. That is a pretty good deal, my friend. I own those exact palms and now they're in your. Oh, these are yours. Okay, yeah. I did get this from uh, Mr. I see Kitsune, who is also a. He's the reason why I got into palm keycaps. I met him at the uh, mini meetup, the Coffee and Keebs video that I made. I met him there for the first time. He enlightened me to the palm as well as uh, res pones. Ren's pones, res pones. Yeah, palm, palm is life, guys. Palm is life. If you guys ever have the chance to try out Palm, I would highly recommend it. It's not for everyone. Some people don't like Palm because it feels too smooth. But for me, I love Palms. <sighs> Hold on, there, there's a note here. So now we have some switches. Uh, I was sent this by, by a viewer actually. Um, you guys might know him as Yalex CSGO. Yeah, he offered to send me some switches for me to try. So let's see what they are all about. Um, he sent me a little note. <laughs> Thank you so much for the note. <laughs> Congrats on 11k help. I'm guessing this is from the uh, the S7 Elephant stream. <laughs> Always nice to see what little notes people send me. Uh, I don't. I want to try Palm in Sovereign. Sin. You should try Palm in Sovereign. It's really nice. I don't like Palm. I like how it sounds though. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, you don't have to like Palm. It is not an end-all, be-all. Uh, keycap set. Everything is preference. Preference. Assuming I hit partner, that that will be an emote. <clears throat> it's already an emote on my Discord. Preference. Um, okay. I forget what the specs were. They're definitely Otemu housings. What are these stems? Kale stems? I forgot. Let me, uh, let me see if I can bring up Discord. Is it Mr. Yalox CSGO in chat? Preference emote is revolutionary. <laughs> uh, speed stems. They are not halo stems. It's, it has like an orangish, yellowish color to it. Uh, let me bring up my messages with Yalox. I put in two lubed Jailhouse speed gold stems in nylon sky housing. 
and a lubed sky stem and kale housing. Okay, that is the spec. Lubed jailhouse to speed. What did I say? Speed what? Speed gold stems and nylon sky housing. Whoa. This is interesting. Wait. Nani? What is what is this jailhouse experience that I am experiencing? It feels heavy. It feels heavy, but the tactility feels nice. Whoa. The travel def travel feels short though. I'm guessing that's because of jailhousing your switch. It reduces travel by a little bit. Um, travel is definitely short. But the tactility is pretty nice. That's what they sound like. Yeah, whoa, this is interesting. Huh, maybe I actually no, I, I I like the tactility, but I wouldn't do a full build with these. The travel's just just too short. I need that travel. Oh yeah, the travel is definitely reduced. <laughs> it's it's too short. Tactility though is nice. It, it is nice. It's a pretty rounded tactility, I like it. But the travel feels like it's almost been halved. Can you put a keycap on it so I can hear the sound? Let me stop the music. Yeah, this is is too short. This uh, this tactility is. I mean, the tactility is nice, but this travel is just too short. Good effort, though. I I may, maybe I do need to try jailhouse blues or greens. I don't know if that affects travel for those switches as well. But this tactility is nice. It is nice. Is that a Yolch cap? Yes, it is. It is Yolch. So these were these were lubed as well. That's probably why it was a little quieter. Um, let's feel this. This switch, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. Nothing, nothing to write home about though. It's it feels pretty good. Yeah. Jailhouse screens are very tactile too, but shorter distance. To, oh, okay. Is that still a thing? Hmm, I've never felt a full board with jailhouse switches. Yeah, I don't know. The reducing the travel is too much. That it is reduced by way too much in my opinion. Way too much. Nathan, can I send you some Franken switches as well, my boy? Kelly, feel free anytime, man. If you if you want to send me some uh switches and uh yeah, feel free, man. <sighs> well, that's all I had to unbox today. Oh, no, I lied, I lied. Last one. Ja, ja. Look what I have. Look at this. This was sent to me by yours truly in Sovereign. Oof, it's so cute. It's a Rilakkuma doll. 
Uh, battling seizure robot. Thank you so much for the follow. Yo, look at this. This is so nice. Mm. Oh, this isn't actually a zipper. <laughs> Yo, this is nice. Mm. This is cute. This is a uh, this is payment for uh, building Mr. In Sovereign's board. This is so cute. Severed Rilakkuma head as a hat. Yeah, it's a Rilakkuma on a Rilakkuma. Really nice. I like. I like this. Thank you, In Sovereign. It is so cute and soft. Maybe I should just have this on all future streams. It's like Rila, Rila Kuma can hug Luffy. Um, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I should just have this on all my streams now. Uh, oh yes, McNoss. I have not forgotten your keyboards. Uh, it's actually right here. Okay, last thing. Actual last thing. So, we uh, we got some stuff. We got some stuff. This is surprisingly bigger and heavier than I thought. Trina is hosting my stream with 32 viewers. I know that username. Whoa, thank you, Dumpling Trina. I don't know if you know me. I've been watching Ed and Ryuk. I didn't realize you were also a streamer until last night, two nights ago, when you started going crazy with the, uh, the donations on Ryuk stream. I know you. Thank you for the uh, host. I know you, you're from Ed and Ryan. Yeah, I also know you from uh, Ed and Ryan. Uh, <laughs> almost nearing the end of my stream. Uh, today was just a chill, chill stream where I unboxed a lot of mail, keyboard related mail, with the exception of this cute Rila Kuma plush that my mod sent me. Uh, Kafu, Kafugax, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, we are we are unboxing the last keyboard thing today. I'm sorry I don't have a build today. I will be building a keyboard tomorrow as well as on Sunday. If you guys want to watch me then, I will be building a keyboard from scratch. But yeah, today we are just unboxing a lot of cool stuff. This is the final thing to unbox and we have two uh, vintage keyboards that a fellow user has sent me. Oh yeah, can someone also uh, shout out Dumpling Trina, by the way? I saw this person on the front page. Whoa, Dumpling Trina front pages? I did not know that. <laughs> In Sovereign or Kuroi, can someone? Yeah, there you go. I believe Dumpling Trina also mainly Osu streams. Yeah, I know a lot of my viewers watch Osu so or play Osu so yeah. Um, who did I miss? I missed someone's follow. Uh, ben Z9 
Natioko, Gabe. Oh, Gabe Osu. I know Gabe Osu. Oh, Benzy9. I think I also know. Both of you guys are mods, right? For Ryan. Dust Bunny for the win. Oh, I missed a couple. Ra Razor GH, Black Ace HP, Nihon Zera, O Artero. Thank you so much for the follows. Nathan, you should play Osu. Think you'd be a god. <laughs> I've never played Osu in my life. I, uh. I also track ball, so. Probably won't be great. Uh, Gabe Osu, hello. I bonded with Gabe last night. We we're talking about K pop. Uh, what switches are these? These are Hyros. Hyros, Hero Say. I believe Clears. You know, they're actually surprisingly smooth. Let's go give you some close ups. Um, I know one of these. Oh, yeah, this one. This one is from a Kawasaki 9ZN30 computer terminal. I don't know. Pretty cool keycaps. Um, these two, they are in the box. They fell out. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Yeah, and it has the Hyros clear switches. This is actually pretty smooth. How much how much do these retail for, chat? Do you guys know? I believe I believe each switch, each single switch here you can sell for like nine bucks, ten bucks. This little keyboard, you are looking at over around six hundred dollars and just switches. Oh, just kidding. They're more like six now. Just kidding. Each switch goes for six dollars, which is still insane. Each. Can you imagine that? This little single switch here. This little switch is six dollars. You want to build a keyboard full of these switches? It will run you a couple hundred just for the switches. This switch is called the Hyros or Hero Say Clear. It's a linear switch. Got no bump. It, it actually feels really smooth though. I might like this more than Nixie's. Like they're nice. I don't think any switch should be worth six dollars though, but if you're looking for a quality linear switch, uh, this is the way to go. Let me uh, pause my music. Yeah, it's really smooth. I do like it. It's a little tad heavy for my taste, but you can always spring swap. Stock stock weight isn't that bad. And this is the second one we were sent. Um, is this this? No, it's a different keyboard. It has the same style of keycaps though pretty similar so I'm guessing same family of computers that this is from but yeah look at this I mean they also should have the same switches yeah what switches will you recommend if I like smooth ones um, smooth linears tactiles what are you talking about Same switches, one uses die sub, the other uses pad print. Okay. Yeah, look at this. I will be recording a sound test for this for my channel. <laughs> Won't be doing a build with this. I like it. 
Would I pay six bucks per switch? Hell no. <laughs> no, I would not. I think if you find good vents, you can get pretty much the same smoothness. Um, Telios, same as well. It, it does feel nice though. Uh, ben Javaro, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, if you're looking for a smooth linear Hannibal Rabbit, I would suggest uh, Telios from Zeo PC. I have a link for Zeo PC in one of my panels. He is a sponsor. But the Telios Switch is one of the smoothest linears you can currently buy right now. Yeah, this is nice. Man, we got a raid. Do I continue? What do I continue with though? <laughs> This was the last unboxing I had. Those Hyros clear sound like sex. Well, I mean, the sound you're hearing is mostly from this metal container. Just echoing. Uh, Tonka Tonk, thank you so much for the five month streak. Build me up, Pappy. <laughs> yeah, this feels nice. Ed was here earlier in stream, but he said he had to, he had a map pull practice, whatever that means. So he ditched me. I like this, I like this. Will I ever buy them? No. But if anyone wants to sell me Hyros Clears for cheap, let me know. Um, I, I guess I can show off a couple more keyboards, personal ones. Since we have a raid now. Although I'm not even sure how many of the raiders are even in chat anymore. Always got it. Always have to enlighten the new people. Uh, do Hyros have unique stems? I'm not sure if it's made out of different plastics or anything, but they, it's just an MX stem. Mukbang 2? I don't have food, unfortunately. one way MX caps fits in high rows but not the other way okay that's interesting dude this is so cute I like this I want more plushies in Sovereign <laughs> I would like more plushies goodbye and good night Nathan goodbye Nazi goodbye have a great night thank you so much for uh, stopping by we have coca-cola in chat I'll send another one next time oof ty man Okay, I'm getting two. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kuroi is gonna not Kuroi. And Sovereign is gonna send me more. Um, I can show off some keyboards I have right now. This is a keyboard. I think 65% keyboard that I will be rebuilding. This is a Louis Vuitton keyboard. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this has no affiliation to Louis Vuitton. But um, yeah, I actually picked this up the other day from Kono actually. I was uh, hanging out with Input Club and the Kono guys. They were like, do you need a keyboards to build? I was like, sure, I'll build a keyboard. Or I need, I can always build keyboards on stream. And uh, they said I could play around with this. So I will be rebuilding this at one point. Um, probably with my switches, these are unlubed blacks. These are just stock blacks. Yeah, gonna rebuild this with some better and nicely tuned switches. But this is a keyboard that has not been featured on my channel yet. This is one of the keyboards I have next to me. Uh, I also have this keyboard next to me. <sighs> Look at this keyboard. Oh, the lighting is pretty harsh. So all this stuff you see here, um, it is not a wrap. This is all anodization. 
so it's pretty cool it's called the kintsugi pattern i'm guessing you guys can guess why it's called kintsugi if you guys are familiar with that but yeah this this keyboard here is called the salamander it has a giant brass weight on the bottom and then this is all uh aluminum it's an all aluminum housing yeah but i did build this on stream not too long ago definitely one of the more expensive keyboards i have built Uh, oh, I can, I guess since we have some new people, I can unbox a keyboard. Um, I don't know if you're watching in Sovereign, I will unbox your keyboard. So I will be building in Sovereign a keyboard uh, next week because I don't have the switches yet. He pieced out. Okay, well, sucks for Insovereign because this is his board. So this keyboard comes in a nice heavy duty case. This was uh, shipped from Korea. This keyboard, I believe, costs around $600 retail. For this whole package, what you're seeing. So let's see what a $600 purchase gets you in the hobby. So yeah, it's got some nice thick foam padding so your keyboard doesn't get damaged. Uh, Zeal stabs, those of you guys have been wondering, the most premium of stabilizers you can get. Gold wires and clear plastic. Uh, PCB, this actually uses the Heine PCB. Comes with the Heine PCB. You guys ready for this? You guys ready to see what a $600 keyboard looks like? Uh, Ramsey Ross, thank you so much for the follow. Those are bump-ons. I haven't built this yet. So yeah, that's why it's sliding around. But look at this, boys and girls. So this is actually the same keyboard as this one that I just showed you. <laughs> These two are the same keyboards, except this is an aluminum version. This is a polycarbonate version. And I got a custom Anno job on this. But yeah, this features a PVD coated brass plate. So you can see that shine coming through. Looks really nice. Um, the polycarbonate version also looks different. You can see this aluminum version has a little cutout, but the polycarbonate does not have that cutout. It's just a wedge shape. Look at this. So I did review the salamander and I told you guys that had I had the option to choose between polycarb and aluminum, I would have probably gone with polycarb. This is my first time playing with the polycarb version and I made the correct judgment. This polycarb version is pretty nice. This is so nice. And look at this. Look at this PVD coated. Wait, is this is this brass or stainless steel? I haven't opened it, so. But look at this. So it also has salamander engraved. Oh, it's stainless steel. Okay, so this is stainless steel. Uh, Jorbulus, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Looks amazing. Yeah, it does. I, if I had the option to choose, I would go for polycarb. This is, this is nice. This is a nice and beautiful keyboard. Yeah, so this is a polished stainless steel. 
This is a brass weight that has dirtied and patinaed over time because I didn't take care of it nor shine it. But yeah, have you ever seen two salamanders next to each other like this? Look at this. Oof. Yeah, excited to build this. I don't have the switches for it. I will be receiving it next week. I will most likely be building this next week. So if you guys want to see me build this up, free up next weekend or something. But yeah. Um, I, I don't do too many unboxing streams like this. But if I, if I have a lot of things to unbox, I will sometimes just dedicate it, an entire stream to unboxing keyboard stuff. Can you show me how you type or make a tutorial? I don't know how to touch type good. Uh, I, I don't know if you if I need to make a video on how to type. <laughs> there, are, there are tons of online resources that teach you how to type well. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I mean, I, I guess I could, I don't really have tips for touch typing other than, it's honestly just practice. Touch typing is all about practice and um, how much you're willing to actively fix your mistakes. At first it's gonna be a struggle, but you have to commit to forcing yourself to not revert back to your old habits. And you should improve with time. Typing is just literally practice. Yeah, excited for this build though. Looks, looks really nice. Um, one thing I did notice, the polycarb of this has a smokier look. This here is also a polycarbonate board. Um, different design and shape. Also form factor, but like if you compare these two polycarbonates, um, this is clearly grayer, has a bit of a smokier finish than the PC Singa. But this is also a nice keyboard. Salamander with high rows? No, those are the high row switches are from someone else. They are not in Sovereigns. Are you happy that polycarbonate is becoming more of a thing as of late? Uh, I, I am, I am. I, I don't think polycarbonate is a fad. I think polycarbonate is here to stay. Um, I, I wish cheaper polycarbonate options became more of a thing. I don't know if that's actually physically possible, but um, I, I do like that polycarbonate, that we are exploring polycarbonate as a community. I, I think it's a great material. And I think some boards look better in polycarbonate than aluminum. Like this salamander, I prefer the polycarbonate. Uh, same with the TGR 910. I think the polycarbonate version is I just prefer it over the aluminum version. <sighs> if I already type at 80 words per minute with my own style, is it worth learning how to touch type? I want to split boards at some point, and I heard touch typing as a requirement. Um, if you have a split keyboard, yeah, touch typing is a requirement, I think, as well. I, I think it is worth learning to touch type. That way you don't have to look at your keyboard while you're typing. I'm at 80 to 90 words per minute with my stop typing tube. Uh, do linear switches sound trash and polycarbonate? 
No, linear switches sound fantastic in polycarbonate. Whoa, Gooba types, who is this? You relearn to touch type if you do split or ergo. Yeah. Is the stream ending? I think so. I, I have run out of stuff to unbox. Or new stuff at least. We're just we're just chatting today. There was no build today, just there's just a chat asking anything kind of stream. Uh, Zero Hood. I just joined. Is that a new mat? What is it? This is a new mat. It's from Dixie Mech. You should check out the uh, the link I have for Dixie Mech in the panel or dixiemech.com slash types for this mat. It is a mech, mechaki bodo desk mat. Uh, Axtran, hello. Oof, hello. Glad to see you, Axtran. Do you recommend linear or tactiles for polycarbonate plate? Young Jay asks. Um, whichever one you like i think tactiles and linears both are really good with polycarbonate plates what well, keycap set is that this is using an og dice sub sdu keycap set are there any gasket mount tkls not that exist or not that you can purchase readily Once again, uh, I have also put up a Streamlabs schedule panel. So if you guys ever were curious when I'm streaming, um, feel free to check there. Assuming my weekends are free, I should consistently stream Fridays at 8 o'clock p.m., Saturdays at 3.30 Pacific p.m., Sundays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific as well. Are those Xylents in the Salamander? Yes, these are Xylents. I'm back. What's up with the Chinese mouse pad? This is Japanese. Uh, this is one of the things I unboxed today on stream. It's from Dixie Mac. Do I still have coffee? I do have coffee. Hey, the master sold out. Do you know if they will come back? Good question. I'm not sure. You should bug Dixie Mac about it. I know it was pretty popular when it ran. There might be a second round, we'll see. And you should do a DSA milkshake build. I did find the alphas for it. I'm just waiting to receive it. Yeah. Quick <laughs> recap of unboxings. I unboxed a couple artisans, some Dixie Mech merch, some cable, a nice thick cable, a GMK Chocolatier, High Rose, switches and a PC salamander okay, is there is there anyone I can raid today Does chat have suggestions for raiding someone or any we could raid slightly musical if you guys want he doesn't need a raid, but he is online. <laughs> Any recommendations for raiding someone? My friend is streaming. Who is your friend? Lock, Loxy TV. Who is this person? Oh, this person's playing Osu Nighthawk. Minecraft, eh, eh. <laughs> the 
keyboard sounds tasty. Should I just do a quick typing test? Do we still have new people in chat? I'll do a typing test. We have nothing to do. Let me bring up. I didn't prepare for this because I didn't think I was going to do a typing test today. Well, you can definitely do a typing test. Oh no. All right. Place your bets, everyone. Um, can switches be lubed? Uh, yes, switches can definitely be lubed. Check out my uh, lubing tutorial on my YouTube channel. Raid Loggy Logzy TV as birthday was three days ago. Do you still like two hundred five grade zero on MX Plex? I do. I really like two hundred five grade zero. What lube is on those switches? This was lubed with Trebosis three two hundred three. Um, these are Holy Jesus switches, which are basically Holy Pandas. Dang, we only have five entries for four to six now. Okay, it is one Huey away. Three, two, one. Oh my god, this is bad. I have stage fright. <laughs> the best better than I thought I, I messed up quite a bit anyone guess 122 oh I see a 123 oh 808 cowbell actually guessed 122 do you use your pinkies a lot for typing uh so no pinkies I mean you don't type I only use pinkies for Q, P, Z, and uh, punctuation and shift. So yeah. How do I learn to type fast? I'm just starting and I'm at like 40 words per minute. Uh, it's just practice, just practice. Did you ever figure out what was wrong with Beast's keyboard? I remember there was a problem with some dropped inputs. Oh, uh, yes I did, Chris IRL. So um, there is currently a firmware issue with that keyboard. So the, the PCB that he bought is a new PCB from KBD fans. Um, they realized there was something wrong with their firmware, so it's currently being patched. Uh, luckily, it wasn't a hardware issue. It's something that can be uh, patched via an update. So uh, just waiting for that patch to happen. No pinkies for, oh yes, A. I do use pinkies for A, I forgot. <laughs> Would you try to do a typing test if someone gave you an ortho to build on stream? I would. I used to use the Ergodox for a while. I wasn't that fast on ortho. I would if someone sent me one. Okay, let's see if we can break 130 again. Oh, nope. What?
Oh my gosh. Ooh, 130. I broke 130. This board is blessed. It makes me type faster. Uh, I saw a video of yours where, and you see that? Uh, uh, mod M's compared to Holy Jesus. I like Holy Jesus a lot better. Okay. Do you have a favorite loop for Holy Pandas? I would say no thicker than 3204 at the most. What keycap set is this? This is GMK muted. What time zone is your schedule in? I, I am Pacific time. PST. Any upcoming boards you're excited about? Um, to be honest, I haven't been keeping up <laughs> with a lot of the projects on Geekhack as of late. Um, I've been streaming a lot, trying to hit Twitch partner. I've, I haven't been keeping up. Any new ones that are exciting? Yeah, I can't think of any that really stood out to me. I, I, did, I do catch top clock here and there. Not sure. There was a 75% from Gold Worms that looked pretty cool this week. Wilba's keyboard looks pretty nice. I guess Vern, if you can consider that an upcoming board. I mean, it is made already. It just hasn't been sold to the public yet. Uh, oh, number two. Um, I don't know when that's coming out. Number two looks pretty exciting. A picture was teased on Keith Cult's Instagram. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have I tried Otemu Silent Skies? I have not. Where do I get panda switches? You can't anymore. Yes, key cult number two. A picture was teased. It's been a while though since it's been up. But key cult, I really like the design of. Okay, any, any uh, final questions, comments, concerns before we end today's stream? I just opened the stream. What is going on now? Uh, I am just about done with the stream. 11 Okun. <laughs> 11, 1 Lock Hoon 1. Just unboxed a bunch of stuff on the stream today. Uh, looking for someone to raid. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Flapper11, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, building a pretty cool keyboard. Yeah. McMax McMac. If you'd like, you can desolder a switch off of the high rose board to keep. I'm keeping the cap though. <laughs> what, are, what am I gonna do with one high rose switch? <laughs> can I keep one whole board? Just the switches? I'll send you the keycaps back. Uh, do other mech streamers exist? Jack Rack Janie asks. Yes, there are tons. Raid Crun Kid Kittle. Who is that? What is this person doing? Are they making robots fight?
which keyboard I need that spoiler and noise no spoilers it is not the PC salamander I can tell you that much <laughs> what do Telios feel most like they feel most like cherry MX reds or blacks but significantly smoother if I had to recommend a $500 case what would you recommend uh, depends on what layout you're looking for what layout TKL or 60 $500 TKL There aren't many $500 TKL I would just If you can go if you can go 600 Probably a number one. I would recommend a number one TKO. What is the most expensive board you own? Um, probably my LZ CLS. What switches would you recommend for an office build? I would recommend something silent, uh, like MX Silence. Zeal, Silence, Helios. Those are the switches I would recommend. Or Topra. I would say Topra is office acceptable. Okay. Are Rosios just silenced Telios? Yes, they are. Roselios, Sakurios, Helios, they are all just silent Telios. What is a fancier switch that someone using Cherry MX Browns would like? I guess that's the step up. Uh, I would say Zelios, Zelios V2s. Yeah. Popo187, hello. Have Zelio switches always been like $1 a switch? Yes, they have been. If you if you miss out on the group buy, it will be more expensive. If you join the group buy for it, it was under a dollar per switch. I think it was like ninety cents per switch. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I will just raid Albert today. We're gonna go raid. Oh, invalid username. There we go. Um, I think maybe he unboxed some of my stuff while I was streaming. I'll have to check his VOD. But check his latest VOD maybe. I might have been featured. Keyboards might have been involved, we'll see. So yeah. Uh, once again, I will be streaming tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow is a pretty cool board, never before built on stream. So be there, should be exciting. Um, so until then, I will see you nerds.